Jonathan, the director mm -hmm. and the star of Creed 3. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say oh, that, yes, misquoted sir. for sure. No, so you did not hear me say, I said we used to make fun of the name, but yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. How is the difference between you actually directing and working with the same people that you were directed with versus? Uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. You know, it's a family vibe. Yeah. Last nine, nine years of my life. Um, I spent on the Creed films. Uh, they're very supportive. You know, Tessa, uh, Felicia, Rashad, Wood Harris, people that see me grow up. Yeah. And uh, for the fact that I stepped behind the camera and finally got a chance to direct them, they, they, they loved it. They embraced it. And uh, it was a wonderful experience. And was it difficult for you mentally because you're coming out of a different space? I didn't know, I didn't know he was doing the athletic gear. I mean, I was staying in it. This is about show. This ain't about Isn't this the sexiest man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby JTV, like, comment, sub. Y'all missed me? Yeah, yeah, tap in with my Patreon, man. I've been a little more active over there. But let's talk about it. Lincoln bio. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan speaking with L'Oreal from The Morning Hustle, right? And he basically confronted her. He was side-eyeing her about how she used to call him corny, right? Because he used to bring pictures and photos. Well, this was said in another podcast or one of the podcasts she does that. He used to bring photos, Right, headshot to himself to school. They used to make fun of his name, right? And you know what I'm saying? These things, keep in mind, Michael B. Jordan is in his 30s, so is L'Oreal. But, uh, you know, that still affected him, right, to a certain point. And this is why, you know, when kids talk, man, when, when kids are bullying, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it was. It does have an effect on people, right? And to Michael B. Jordan, he held on to that. That's why when he saw her, he called it out, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure he listened to a podcast with her and where she where she was in, where she called it out. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, he was sent links to that. See, my thing is this. It's pretty simple, right? If you are, as a man, right, have had disrespect in the past from women, from guys or anybody, you should be calling it off rip. You know what I mean? And if you can to, if you don't have that type of fortitude, when you grow older, let your success shine first, you know? So for me, I kind of like a little bit how he called it out, but at the same time, it was a little bit lame, right? Because let me tell you this, you're already winning at life, Michael B. You're already a multi-millionaire actor, and now you're directing one of the biggest movies. Pretty much Creed 3 is going to be one of the biggest movies of the year. You've already fleshed on her, bro. You know what I mean? And there was like little notes of somebody else that had been on the podcast who called him corny. Uh, you know, essentially, oh, he's kind of one of them corny dudes. See, this is the problem in the black community. And she, by the way, this woman, Dame the Dime, whatever her dumb name is, whatever it is. She was uh, said he's corny because he dated white girls. Now, let me tell y'all something, man. Something in the black communities like this, man. This is something that really is disappointing. With the last day of Black History Month, man, <laughs> like, it's just disappointing. Is in our culture, right? We look up to just thugs and degeneracy, and the worst type of black men are they lifted up. So, sh so it's just backwards. Give you an example, right? I bet most of y'all don't know that Ben Carson is the first black neurosurgeon i'm actually not even black the first neurosurgeon right to separate conjoined twins right y'all don't know that i know y'all don't know that <laughs> i know y'all don't know that but guess what you can literally rap every lyric to young thug by the way shouts out young thug i rock with young thug y'all don't know about ben carson y'all thought that he was just a presidential nominee who was sounding slow on uh, you know going against trump no this is the first neurosurgeon right to separate conjoined twins which is one of the hardest surgeries ever done ever took him 24 some hours to do that you know what i'm saying doctorate you know what i'm saying phd all of that one of the most renowned doctors in the world period i don't know about that y'all don't care because our culture doesn't care we celebrate degeneracy we celebrate losers we salute dudes who are 
objectively terrible. You know what I mean? Right? So then you look at an individual like Russell Wilson. Of course, he's kind of corny and cringe. But there's more people fans of K-Flock than Russell Wilson right now. That's the society win. So Michael B. Jordan is an example of that, of what is looked at as good in the black society or attractive or, you know what I'm saying, amongst our black women, amongst our society, is degeneracy, bro. It's trash. But what's considered corny, ironically, leads to a multi-million dollar actor slash director slash one of the sexiest men in the world, according to multiple publications. That's how backwards the society is. And these same women who look at my looked at Michael B. Jordan as corny, guess who they dating? <laughs> By the way, they ain't dating. They just getting fucked. <laughs> they getting fucked. They getting fucked and chucked, dog. That's just the facts. You know what I mean? And that's the truth that they don't want to tell you. You know what I mean? They're not getting taken serious. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. I kind of like this, but at the same time, Michael B., you should let that, you know, that pass go. You should not give a F. You should let your success talk more than your talk. But it was refreshing to see, though. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Big Baby JTV. I'm out.